Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. Apple releases iOS 88.1 RC update. This is going to be a really good video because I'm going to discuss every single thing about this RC update in today's video. So I will be sharing all the features that are available with the 88.1 RC update. I will also share that which feature is available on which iPhone. So is Apple intelligence is available on your iPhone or not? So I'm going to discuss the support of the features also in this video. Also, I will talk about the performance and the battery life based on previous betas and will also discuss the public release of iOS 18.1. So I'm going to cover a lot of different things in this video and let's start with all new features. So very first, we are going to talk about the control center changes over here. So now there are a lot of different changes in the control center as different new connectivity toggles are available. So I will go to add a control over here. When I go to the connectivity, under connectivity, there are new toggles for Wi-Fi, for um, VPN over here, for AirDrop, for satellite. So now you don't have to rely on this group toggled. You can also use them differently. Also, if I add this one over here, tap and hold, as you can see, the UI of these toggles is also different from the 18.0 and the 18.0.1 as these four toggles are different in size. Also, when I go back on this, add a control over here, go all the way down. There are some new toggles under measure, as you can see. So this is all changes from the control center in the terms of UI. And in terms of connectivity, there is a slight more change. So when you go to the settings, you go to the control center over here and now you will see the reset control center button over here now this was not available before and people were like playing with the control center and it was hard to get to the default but now by tapping once you will able to go to the default one which is really nice also call recording is available for 18.1 and I did a lot of demos of call recording. So you can check out those demos in my channel. Also call recordings will be saved in the notes application. And these call recordings will also have transcription over there as you can see, which is really, really cool. So the sleep apnea notifications are also available with the 18.1 RC update, which is quite nice. If you go to calculator, now the history comes from down over here which is also nice now you are able to use swipe features as these are also new you can copy or delete if you want to so this is also a small little change when you go to the messages over here for example go to the keyboard now stickers and emojis are all together in this section which is also really cool also this search emoji bar is much curved now it is also a small a little change when you go to the notifications now there is a notification count beside the icon as you can see so there are two notifications two is there there are three notification three is there as you can see a small little change quite useful the people who use apple music now they can directly share to tiktok from their apple music also there is a writing tool in ai which will i discuss soon uh, in that writing um, tool, there is an icon of writing tool is available with the Apple Pencil, so a small little change over there too. iPhone 16 have camera controls over here, we know that. And now in the camera controls, there is a selfie option that is also available with the 18.1 RC update. When you go to settings over here, go to the accessibility. Now this icon of face ID and attention is changed also the color of eye icon of eye tracking is also changed slight little change over here when you go back from here and go to the display and brightness in the demonstration of light mode and dark mode now there are updated wallpapers from the ios 18 which is also nice now when you go back and go over here go to the edit over here go to the customize go to the tinted icons now your clock is also 
as you can see transparent which looks really good you can customize it according to your choice but your clock is also transparent in this mode the icon that is of apple intelligence that is available in the settings has now slightly different is also available with the dark mode which is also a small little change that is available with the 18.1 rc update also when you go into the settings and you go into your account over here you can now add multiple accounts so you can switch between different accounts of apple id which is really cool i'm definitely gonna try this one very soon and i will bring a video about that but this feature a small little change but also available with the ios 18.1 rc update now moving to the new siri new siri is also available unfortunately that is not here i cannot show you but there is also apple intelligence features that are available so let's talk about now apple intelligence features now with the apple intelligence feature you are able to summarize different web pages through this summary feature as the summary will be available on the top as you can see again this is the ui of call recording this is it looks like something like this one but i already talked about this one also a new cleanup feature is also available so if there is anything distracting in your photos you can use the cleanup feature and just cut down that thing and make your picture more perfect it is also available with the apple intelligence in the 18.1 rc update apple intelligence is also coming to photos so you can create movies according to your choice and customize your photos in a much better way it is also coming to your messages i will talk about that it's also coming to your mail where you can summarize mail write mails in a formal format or any sort of format and make it even better well there is going to be a writing tool that will be available in your messages notes even mail that can help you to rewrite proofread and do some other tasks you can also summarize different pages different uh, paragraphs and rewrite paragraphs which is also available in the writing tools and definitely new city again with a new animation as you can see the colors are really different the look is completely changed available with alongside with the apple intelligence over here in the messages there are again coming the apple intelligence feature writing tools that can improve the conversation so these are some of the right apple intelligence features that are coming with the 18.1 rc update so these are all the features that are coming in 18.1 rc update now the most important thing which feature is coming to your iphone so 18.1 rc supports every other iphone that also supports iOS 18 which means starting with the iPhone SE second gen up to the latest iPhone but there is a there is a surprise for you all the Apple intelligence features that include writing tools cleanup everything and the new Siri is not coming to every other iPhone these features that Apple intelligence features and new Siri are only coming to six different iPhones starting from iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, 16, 16 Plus, 16 Pro, 16 Pro Max. So only these six iPhones will have Apple intelligence and new Siri, all those features. So if you have, if you don't have any of this iPhone, don't expect Apple intelligence features. Other features that I talk about that includes call recording, um, UI changes, control center, toggles, etc. That is coming to every other iPhone that supports iOS 18. So that is you need to understand. Now let's talk about performance and the battery life based on betas. So for the performance, I will go to the Geekmas score over here. Now the, the Geekmas score which I'm going to show you is of 18.1 beta 7 and it is really good. 5716 on a single multi-core while 2324 on a single core and these are way better than the average one a really really good score so the performance is really great if i go to the gpu benchmark in the gpu history gpu performance is also really good 21053 so yeah in terms of performance 18.1 is going really really good so i'm expecting a better performance in 18.1 rc update if i give you a glimpse of a battery life going into the battery 
let the battery starts load over here last 10 days maybe i go to this day where i use around 95 percent of my device i'm getting screen on time of almost eight hours on this day i used 100 percent of my battery life and i'm getting screen on time of nine hours which means in terms of battery life it is also a great update so it is the definitely battery life of 18.1 beta 7 so i'm expecting that it is going to reflect into the 18.1 rc2 definitely rc is just out yet so i'm gonna just you know i'm gonna test it out and we'll share more videos by tomorrow so make sure to subscribe so talking about the full last thing that is the final release final release is going to be on 28th october apple has confirmed this pretty much it is confirmed that we are going to see 18.1 public release on the 28th of october so if you don't want to install rc update you can go and install and you can wait for a week and install on 28th of october well this is all from this video also how you can install this update is quite simple you need to go to settings you need to go to journal you need to go to software update over here you need to go to the ios 18 developer beta you can select the profile you can also select public beta and when you go back you will see the update and you can update well this is all from this video i hope you like this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up do like and share this video subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video until then take care peace out